Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video of Joshy Plays. <sighs> In today's video, I will be showing you guys the best recording software for low-end PCs because I know some of you guys in my comments have been asking me to do, uh, do a video about this so I'll be showing you how to do it so yeah um, I'll put the link in the description so you guys can check it out check um, download the um, software too so yeah without further ado by the way before I start this video by the way I'd like um some of you guys have a lot of questions right now. The first of all is one, where I've been, okay? If you haven't known, okay, I posted about it, but if you haven't known, I've gone on a trip somewhere. It's uh, personal, I won't tell you where I went, but I went on a trip, so um, that's why I haven't been uploading videos these days, and um, I just don't have enough time to, um, and yeah. So here I am, I just got back from the trip, and yeah, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to do the OCAM, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so basically, you, what you want to do is you want to go to the OCAM website right here. As you can see, I will, I, as I said, I will put a link in the description so you guys can check it out yourselves. So basically, once you've gotten to this location right here, you want to press, o, there's a OSOFT button, and then it says EXE, and then there's a button that says download, and then basically what you want to do is press download, but I already downloaded it, so you don't need to do that. So basically, once you've downloaded it, what you want to do is you want to open it. So yeah, let's do it right now. Okay, so once you've um, once you've opened OCAM, it should look something like this. Um, so yeah, it, it should look something like this. And basically, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to press menu right here. You want to press options right here. Now basically, as you can see, my mouse is moving right here. Now basically, you want to go to the recording tab right here. Now, basically, at general, um, you don't have to include your cursor, but if you want to include your cursor, you can. So, but I'm going to include my cursor. And for the low end PCs, I recommend keeping at 30 FPS. But if you have a, if you have a mid PC, like a higher PC, you know, like you want to keep it at 60. But I have like a low end PC, so I'm going to, I'm going to keep it at 30 for. Um, so that everybody can follow along and basically the quality you want to keep it at medium or high but I recommend doing it at me at high because it's just normal you know so you want to keep the key frame rate at five right here uh, then this is my settings too um, I don't know how to pronounce that but you want to put it here as you can see you want to put it here okay so basically once you've done it you want to put go to the recording area and basically you want you can just price there's a hide recording area where you can like hide the green thingy right here what i mean what i mean by this is if you press okay this thing like if you press if you say okay then it'll get rid of the screen thingy and then you just need to press your thing here then yeah so basically let's come back there so you can do it if you want to i'm not going to do it so basically you want to go to the sound and then you want to put the import source and i'm going to put it that the normal rate right here now basically what you want to do is you want to go to capture right here and basically it can capture your stuff right here it can like capture your so this is a picture too but i'm going to do the video so let's move on so the hotkeys i just keep it at this because I just keep at that because it's easy to remember and yeah. So you want to, basically what you want to do is you want to go to the time limit right here and basically you you can do it to 10 minutes and some seconds, but I'm just, if your video is going to be very long, then I recommend doing at 30 or 20, but my videos are like very short. Normally they're like two minutes, so I'm going to do 10. So basically, you want to go to the watermark thingy right here, and basically it should show this right here, and it says add watermark to video. You want to press um, no watermark, but if you want a watermark to show up, then press this. 
Now basically, you want to go to the performance, and then basically, um, the encoding, just keep at this, and then that, and then, yeah. The language, you want to keep it at English, be if you speak any language, and yeah. Now press OK. Now basically, we have the sound right here. We have the sound, and basically, you want to keep it at press the sound button right here basically you want to keep it at your microphone if you do not have a microphone then just do then just do record system audio but if you do have a microphone as i can see i have the microphone to define microphone press yes press this one but if you do you don't even want to record with a microphone you want to press not record with microphone and yeah i'm just going to do that right quick okay now basically you want to go to the resizing and basically basically for YouTube you want to do it at 1080p um FD FHD but if you I recommend doing it right here because it's just good and yeah so for the capture thing don't worry about that yeah that's the best settings for low end PC and high end PC too so if you enjoyed today's video like and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one Goodbye.